friends, Abby Sandell from Appalachian Mountain. It is Friday, May 11th, and that means that we've got new, most popular baby names data for the United States to talk about. Earlier this morning, the United States Social Security Administration released all of their information on names given to children born between January 1st and December 31st of 2017. And there is a lot to talk about but I wanna just touch on a couple of headlines right now. First of all, on the boys' side, Logan. Logan has been around for a solid 20 years now. It's a 21st century favorite, but this year it skyrocketed 13 places to land at number five for boys in the US. What explains that? Pretty simple. It is all down to the X-Men character, Wolverine, also known as Logan, played by Hugh Jackman. He's been the star of a couple of big movies in recent years. In early 2017, a movie came out all about the character titled simply Logan. I do know at least one family that specifically said that they named their son Logan in response to the movie because their older son, who is just mad about superheroes, suggested it and they thought, you know, this is kind of sweet that the older brother named the younger brother. And uh, they went with it. And I think that conversation must be happening in a lot of households right now. So Logan moves into the top 10. Also entering the US top 10 was a name that I had predicted would get there, Oliver. On the girls side, Evelyn entered the US top 10 for girls, as did Amelia. Amelia spelled A-M-E-L-I. Now I'm spelling that for a reason, because I want to move on to a girl's name that entered the US top 100, Amelia, spelled E-M-I-L-I-A. If you cannot hear a difference between the pronunciation of those two names, well, neither can I, and I'm really trying to say them differently, but it's just not there for me. Amelia is interesting because once again, pop culture gets credit for the rise of this name. Now we know that when a name gets popular, we almost always see some alternate spellings rising in use. There's more than one way to spell Sophia, more than one way to spell Olivia, there's even more than one way to spell Isabella. But Amelia, with the E, particularly references the actress Amelia Clark. She is the star of Game of Thrones, she was in a romantic comedy called Me Before You, based on a Jojo Moyes novel, and she's about to co-star in the new Star Wars movie, Solo. So she's having a big career right now. The title of her character on Game of Thrones, Khaleesi, which is roughly the equivalent of Queen, actually ranks number 630 in the US for girls' names. So it's not surprising to see Amelia with an E, E-M-I-L-I-A, the actress's name, also rising for girls in the U.S. Another name that's new to the girls' top 100 that I wanted to call out is Everly. It's another one I was watching, and it's so interesting because if Evelyn, the new top 10 girl's name, feels vintage and old-fashioned and gentle, Everly shares a lot of the same sounds, but feels very modern and much bolder. But again, they're close. You can imagine parents trying to decide between the two of them. So that's kind of interesting. Now, on the boys' side, Maverick. I had called Maverick as a long shot to enter the US Top 100. I thought he would get there maybe next year, but in fact, he is there now. Want to mention again, possible pop culture influence. There has been a lot of talk about a Top Gun sequel. I'd have to go back and look at when the news stories actually broke around that. But of course, Maverick is the call sign of Tom Cruise's character in that movie. It has been on the edges um, of baby names for some time and rising quickly. I used to say it was too crazy, too out there when I first started writing about baby names a decade ago but um, I've changed my opinion. By the time a name makes the top 100, it is mainstream, and it's just not gonna be strange to meet a baby named Maverick in the coming years. So that's the top 100. Uh, 
want to jump ahead to names that re-entered or debuted in the U.S. Top 1000 this year. For the boys, Caspian, Decker, Kaiser, again, Kaiser, big pop culture influence, that's a teen mom name, and Rain, which is, of course, a Kardashian baby name. It is the youngest child of Kourtney Kardashian, Rain Aston. Rain, in this case, is spelled R-E-I-G-N. It is also in the girls' top 1,000, again, in that spelling, as well as a few others, but uh, debuted this year for the boys in the top 1,000. On the girls' side, more Kardashian influence, Dream, the only child of Rob Kardashian and his former partner, Black China, also debuted in the U.S. Top 1000. It's another noun name, another short, punchy word name with a great meaning. So not outside of current trends, but definitely wouldn't be there without that Kardashian kiddo. So that's interesting. Other debuts and returns to the U.S. Top 1000, Egypt, Florence, Marlowe. We've been waiting for that one to get there for a while. Opal and Octavia. And once again, this is all down to pop culture. Octavia now stands at number 593. Obviously, some parents might be seeing it as a replacement for the mega popular Olivia, but it's also got to be there at least in part because of the amazing actress Octavia Spencer. And again, just another great example, like Amelia, of the way that a celebrity or another pop culture reference can change what parents decide to name their children. So lots more data to look through, many, many more stories to come, and I look forward to talking with you about each and every one of them. Thanks.